and it's like nine o'clock in the morning and our flight doesn't leave to 3 35. it's a convenience store that's like connected to the terminal and you can leave your bags there from seven in the morning to three the last bag got to be picked up at by three so i thought that was pretty cool so we won't have to be lugging our luggage because obviously we're not about to go to the airport right now it's five dollars per luggage that's pretty cool so we dropped it off with them and now we're just walking we're at the pier i think it was called pier 56 i believe i may got the number mixed up but we've never been down this far over here see the stairs well below. the pier number changes the further you walk down oh the terminal well, is pier 66 then you pass 65 64 we have 55 right now oh, okay so, okay yeah, yeah pier just, 55 <laughs> we're just on the pier seattle's pier the Starbucks here, it's a Starbucks everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna stop at one of them. We're just walking, no destination. I'm actually looking for something big, to eat, like some breakfast or something. Oh. We did go to breakfast, but I just nibbled off a couple pieces of bacon and I had like two potatoes. And we see a lot of restaurants on this strip, no breakfast, and the restaurants are not open yet. It's a little cold, it's like 30 something degrees. So it's a ferry over there. It's like Washington State Ferry. And these cars is waiting. That's pretty cool. I wonder what's on the uh, where it takes you and what's over there. Washington State Ferry. It takes you to Bainbridge Island. Some people live here because I just seen Bainbridge High School. Uh -oh. So they probably come to work here downtown. Mm -hmm. So we all the way at Terminal 50. We started at 66. <laughs> that sun has been blinding us the whole way. And we be relieved when, like right now, it's blocked by a building. We gonna cross over, huh? <laughs> it's a Pioneer Square Habitat Beach. 7 to 10 p.m. So yeah, it's a beach. <laughs> See the mountains in the back? Mm-hmm. See this? <laughs> Once again, he gonna be showing mountains. Snow-capped mountains back there. My man, my man, my man. <laughs> you just took yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> don't even know I'm recording. Babe, who you talking to? You singing? Oh. <laughs> so I just heard a lady she went in this, what is this? Coffee shop, I guess. She said, can you guys call it? Oh, it's Mod Pizza. She said, um, can you guys call an ambulance for somebody out here? I ain't gonna record them out of respect. I don't see nothing though. I don't know who she's talking about. We've been walking for a hot minute. Finally made it back to some familiar territory. So we're down here at Pike Place and I'm gonna get a smoothie. This place right, right. here. No, that's it. They be testing the cheese. That's cool, right? All right. Just that same little um, cheese shop and do the cheese curds. I guess they testing. What do you think they testing for? The pH level or something? No, probably the moisture level. I don't know. Yeah. I can not see it right there. It's that's cool. They got to get this for Naya. This shop here. Oh, look. I don't think she would wear these, though. These little dangle earrings. Uh oh. Dang, look how big these lobster tails are. We got the dogs everywhere around us. We got this pub sitting out on the pier. We just take two of the clam chowders. We just sitting out on the pier. <laughs> now we got this cutie here. Oh, I'm a dog. It's 12, 17. I didn't know it come with bread. We both tore that up. It's really good. Soften up the mess, drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. 
Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand me. Walk her down the valley. Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do. And you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer. Greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky. And I'm a wait up on the giver. He'll deliver like a dealer. To take her higher. Higher. Hey guys. So obviously I am back home. Today is Monday and I'm starting the week out with more cleaning and organization. I'm going to start with my patio here. It is a total mess. I haven't sat out here much. For one, I really ain't been home. And for two, it's been way too hot. Today is, is good. It's like in the 80s. So this is good. But when it hit the 90s and it feels like 100 and the humidity is at 95, ain't nobody got time to be sitting out here. <laughs> Later on this week, we're supposed to cool down to the 70s. So... I'm going to try to get this patio together so I can begin coming back out here. Y'all know the plants are dead. They're they gone. So let's just bow our heads and just say a little prayer for them as they transition to the plant heavens. The snake plant finally died. I had that snake plant for like two years. That's what it looked like. All shriveled up. So this plant here is the only one that survived. It looks good, but it can look better because the leaves are usually real shiny and they're dull right now. So I took the plants that was that died out of these pots and I made a whole mess in the process. So all the plants is in that bag. Now over here, a lot of these has fell off, I guess, because of the wind. So now <laughs> it looks so bare over here. It was like, I don't even know what's going on with this. Oh, see, it kind of like blew. I don't know. I'm making salvage it. But I do want to move this bench over to this side. You know, I'm always changing around something. what I got done so far I did a little switcheroo and I'm not completely satisfied with this setup that bag is just a bag of rocks but I like this I still like the bamboo plants because it gives it a little privacy I wish they were fuller y'all should have seen how much of the leaves were behind the um, furniture when I moved it. I'm surprised there's any leaves left on the doggone thing. This table, I'm not, well, I'm a, I gotta clean it off. I don't want it to look too cluttered over here. So um, I may put just one plant on the table and like one of those um, mosquito repellent candles or whatever. This just looks so plain over here. Don't mind that I wash these, this and this blanket here and I just put them out here to dry actually this blew over i don't know what i was thinking when i first bought this big bulky furniture <laughs> for this a small space but i like to stretch out on this so i'm gonna get some more pillows the only pillow i got out here i must have took it inside i only got one pillow oh it's right here i got this pillow here <laughs> and then i got this blanket which is sunburned yes yeah, sunburned I need to get these pots off of here and take these pillowcases off because I think I can. Uh, can I take these off? Oh, why is this tore? Dang. You know, this all tore up. Hmm. I need to wash this. I need something over there in that corner, but it's not that much space to put any. Well, it's not no space at all. So. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm over it. I'm hungry. So. Like I said, 
said, I'm over it. I'll look on Pinterest tonight to get some ideas what to do with that seating area over there. I could add more pillows, but I'm talking about like the whole wall or whatever. But I'm about to cook dinner. Well, yeah, it's gonna be dinner. It's about three o'clock. I came across this recipe, this keto chicken popper casserole recipe. Now I'm not doing keto or anything, but the recipe looked good. I will leave the recipe or the link down below. So the exact name of the recipe is called Jalapeno Popper Chicken Casserole. Don't that look good? It says uh, take about 30 minutes. So basically any kind of casserole is quick because you're basically just throwing everything in one dish, pop it in the oven, boom. So it does claim to be gluten free low carb and keto friendly diet. A lot of those keto recipes be looking good. I don't think I can um, do keto. I just don't want to, I just don't want to try to commit to it, that, to be honest, I, I just don't. But I am going to start using a lot of keto recipes to cut back on the carbs. So I got chicken broth, you're going to need that. I got the jalapenos. I got some green onions. I don't think this recipe called for green onions, but I just think green onions sprinkled on top will be uh, so good. And of course you're gonna need chicken. So I got just some uh, tenderloins. I got three packs. I hope that's enough. It should be, because these packs ain't even big. This ain't got nothing to do with the recipe, but I just bought some chicken wings. I got three packs of those. You're gonna need some heavy whipping cream, some shredded cheddar cheese, cream cheese. The cheddar cheese was um, buy one, get one free, I believe. I'm gonna throw in some smoked Gouda. I love smoked Gouda. And I just got some um, chicken or turkey sausages. This is for breakfast. And then I got some bacon. This bacon is so freaking good. It's about $13, but I'm telling you, you should try it out. It is so freaking good. All right, let's get started. Now the recipe says to shred the chicken. I don't know if I want to shred the chicken. I might just cut them in bite-sized pieces. you a symphony just to say how much you mean to me what would you do if i told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular tell me would you well baby i've been around the world but i ain't seen myself another girl like you this ring here represents my heart there's just one thing I need from you Say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand I can see us on the countryside Sitting on the grassland side by side You could be my baby Let me make you my lady Girl, you amaze me Ain't gotta do nothing crazy See all Hey y'all, it's the next day I'm about to end this vlog I'm about to start on Naya's room and I want that to be in a whole separate vlog, so that's why I'm ending this one. The um, IKEA desk is downstairs. I ordered her that Hello Kitty chair that everyone was looking for in Marshalls. We was looking for it, we couldn't find it. So I went on ahead and bought it from um, Impressions. Impressions got a lot of um, Hello Kitty. If you're wondering where that Hello Kitty mirror came from, it came from the Impressions website, you know, the people who like the vanity mirrors they got a lot of hello kitty stuff though. so i'm gonna pick up where i left off on the next vlog i hope y'all enjoyed this vlog i hope y'all enjoyed the travel vlogs i really enjoy putting them out because y'all comments um be hyping me up <laughs> um especially when i'm inspiring someone to get out there and travel in my opinion cruising is the best way to dibble and dabble in the little countries because you know you don't spend that much time there it's a good way to just to see a little something something chill with the locals possibly um try new foods their foods the culture you know what i'm saying and the best part of it all is you seeing more of god's work i know you can see it on tv you can see it here on social media so you have to be there you have to be there but i understand everyone can't be there or be somewhere and that's okay you know it's it's coming your breakthrough is coming <laughs> I'm just happy that I can show y'all a little something 
through the screen. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, thanks for supporting me in everything I do. Y'all are awesome. Y'all are the definition of awesome. <laughs> I hope y'all have a blessed day. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I need to say that in the videos. Like, do y'all be thumbs and up the videos? Do y'all comment? Do y'all share my videos? Are you subscribed? Like, you know that helps me out a lot, right? All right, y'all. Love y'all.